ladies and gentlemen and as always thank you for watching uh today has been a busy day already i uh, haven't slept much phones rang off and on all night long talon's been out kenny's been out tom's out on a tow kenny's still out on a tow and i've got uh two jobs holding so been a very busy night very early start to the morning anyway i've been called by a customer that has a uh, loaded dump trailer uh, that only has drop legs and he doesn't have the drop legs for it and the uh, tractor has quit running uh, or is in limp mode and they were able to get it into a parking lot they need me to go uh, lift the nose of the trailer and hold it while they pull that truck out from underneath it and then uh, hook another truck up to it so I can then take the truck that is uh, having issues and tow it to a repair facility. Anyway, we are in route. There's Kenny hooking up to the truck that needs to go he's on. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get off here and uh, focus on driving and I'll be back once we get on scene. Okay, helmet cam is back on. We pull in. Check the situation over first and see what we need to do. How we're going to do the lift. Shut down? Shut down, check engine light came on. Okay. That probably the death all fogged up. When's the last time you put death in it? It's still over half. Yeah. It, it doesn't come on. I didn't have a regen light, but when you try to start it, oh, it stinks. Yeah. You can smell it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want me to take it where to Pete? Peterville. Okay. All right. Uh, and you got another truck yeah, coming? He's, he's up here dropping right now. Okay. So as soon as he gets dropped, he'll be in here. See, that's what I was worried about. You got enough room to do anything. Yeah, I got room. Uh, is he going to be able to pull this out? I'll under? take my truck and pull him out. Or the other, yeah, I'll take okay. my truck. You got, right. you got chains and everything, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, what I figured is I'll take my truck, pull him, have Mark sitting where he can get right back, under it. Right under it. Yep. And, and do it that way. That's kind of the plan I had. Does okay. that work for you? Yeah, I didn't know if I needed to. Uh, if it would be better if I strapped it, put, held it up. put one of our heavy straps under it. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to be able to sneak the under reach right. in and lift it. Yeah, See, that's what I was afraid of. And there's uh, enough room to do anything. No, and there's nowhere on the front to grab it with chain and lift it from the nose. Right. You know? Right. That would be the easiest way is if we could get it. But then once you pull it out from the fifth wheel, even if I could grab it back there, those chains will want to go to the center mm -hmm. and then won't allow that other truck to come in underneath right, it. Right, right. Uh, yeah. 
Well, that's I, what. Uh, that's unfortunate. That's what I hate about these freaking peg legs, but it is what it is, you know. Yep. And I don't, you know, I mean, I can't let you drag the whole load down. Whole. If it's easier to drag it all down there, I don't care. But I hate for this load of sand just to sit there. To sit here, but it yeah. might be a weaker load. Oh no. You know I me. Mean? Yep. It was Understand. Peter build. It's hard to tell how long it'd be. Okay. You know. But I think even. All right, you said it had how much? He's got about 25 ton on. 25 four what? Probably close to 26. Close to 26. 26 ton? Yep. Yeah, he's grossing 80,000. Boy, it's a lot of weight on that little trailer. Yep. A lot of weight right here in the nose. Well, yeah, my... we, don't, we don't normally load real heavy in the nose. We put more of it towards the back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you got all your... Yep, we put, we put more weight back there. The back. 20 what? It's a uh, 250-pound short being 26. 26, 26 no, tons. Not 26 tons. Yep, okay. So 52,000 plus the weight of the trailer. And then on the nose, so we better say 60,000 roughly. We'll be lifting 30 on yep. the front. Yep. Go just ahead, just a rough go ahead guess. Your and stuff. Uh, yeah, go ahead and get start, that unhooked. Start out looking at that and get your uh, valve over i tell you what, Mark. That would really, really be the best if I could get a chain and lift straight off the front uh -huh. rather, than, rather than strapping it because I'm going to have my best lifting advantage from over here over here from yeah. from the front right. if i lift way back here it's just like a wheelbarrow the wheelbarrow yep, yep. you know the yep. the further forward you get the better lifting advantage you have and i really don't want to i don't want to crush the sides or anything right. with with a yeah. strap right. uh, i don't see anything good to look to over here. well yeah there is there's that angle piece right behind the kingpin plate uh -huh. and uh i think if we run the chain Right along the edge of the kingpin plate, there's this thick steel beam. Right. That'll probably keep that chain from popping over. Uh -huh. We'll try it. We'll try it just on an initial lift and see how it goes. Okay. All right, I'm gonna. Well, you do that, then uh, I'll go ahead and get back up to him. All right. And... I think I'm just gonna do it straight off the back. Uh -huh. That way, my outriggers aren't in the way of anything. Right. I'll just, just do it straight, straight off that. Yeah, yeah, I'll just I'll, do it. I'll hook to him and I said I see Mark pulling it up there. So as soon as he gets dropped, he ought to be here in just a minute. Okay, bud. Oh yeah, I can come back a little more. How close do I get? About here? Yeah, okay. under reach right about there. Okay. Let me see which chains I've got that'll work good. I'm going to pull him out of here. I'm going to pull him around. I'm going to pull him up over here straight where you 
good trade to you, or are you going to play him from the front or the back? I'm going to play him from the back. From the back? Okay. Yep. Yep. As long as he's got enough room to get into okay. him. Yep. Straight ahead. Yeah, I'll play him straight ahead. Be, be my best option. Yep. needs to go when I get it tightened up it'll need to go right there so we uh, stay on that lip but we'll have to wait until I get it tight uh, and we'll have to we'll have to watch your fifth wheel handle no I'll, I'll be able to get it with this yeah. no I'll be all right with this yeah go ahead and pull your pin Well, we can move the chain. There you go. Now put the chain on top. Mark's done this time or two too. He knows what to do. Thank you, buddy, Jay. Well, I've got another one that I need to. Uh, Oh, that's my lightweight one. Believe it or not. Huh? That's the half inch. Just wait till I drag out the 5 8 inch. Grade 100. Buddy, you got a chain down hook to this truck? Uh, yep. Right up in that bay that's open, there's a chain carousel. Just take your pick. You need a to uh, pull pin, Mark? Huh? You need a pull pin? I just need to try out. Okay. That's good here. Hey, Mark, when we, when we get ready, you just want to get in there quick possibly. Yeah, we're going to pull him straight forward. Well, once I, once I get a hold of it, as long as the chains are in good position, I'll let you know before we lift it, we ought to be okay. okay. Main thing is, go, come out, nice and easy and come back in nice and easy let me grab that other lifting chain i don't know if we got, if we got enough air though i hope we got enough air to release the brake Oh, you dead gun thing. 
me just hold it. Yeah, I'm going. Well, I'm going to have to wait. Get my cable stretched out. Concerned about that uh, hydraulic line. Well, we need to be on the outside so the fifth wheel doesn't hang on it. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Yeah, let me get uh, get some height on it. Get my angle up where I need it to be with that much weight. I hope this thing is right here is what bothers yeah, me. Yeah, I want that right on the edge. Yeah, I'll, I'll boom out. Get out there, Mark. I'll keep it close to the trailer. All right, let me lock it in. Yeah, get, get this just a little bit tighter. Right? Yeah. I just getting the boom set where I wanted it first. You know your mark? We all fifth float. Hey on this. Give me a little slot. Yeah, I'm It's slack. Well, I don't know if the truck will pull out here or not, Ready? Right? Look. Okay, Mark, the other option we got. Pull it tight down, buddy. Pull it real tight. Now, I ain't what scares me. It's coming into that fifth wheel. Uh huh. I don't know if that's going to hang or not, is it? When you come back in? No, when we go. Well, we're on top over there. Up yeah, here, let me. We're underneath. Yeah, let me. That's no big deal. Once I lift it, if you can break it free, yeah, that's true too. It'll come over the ears. Are yeah, you? Yeah, that's right. Well, are you clear yeah. of the ears? Yeah, we'll get over. I think that'll work. It will come free. Yep. You want, you want to put the big one out? No, that'll hold it. That'll hold it. Yeah, hold on just a minute. Back up a little bit here, Mark. Hold on, Mark. Let me make sure I'm. Yeah, you're lifting. Yeah. Front now. Yep. Yeah. I hope the fifth wheel comes loose. I mean, the tenor will come loose. Uh, how much air did you have in there, Robert? Uh, a little over 40. Well, maybe, maybe a little in mine. Yeah. Go ahead and release your. Uh, Back yeah, I got it. You got it? Yep. Not marking back up. Real nice and easy coming out just to make sure.
You got your brakes pushed in. All they'll go. Come on, Mark. See what that Ford will do. Nope. The fifth wheel's unlocked. It's the uh, brakes. Your brakes are holding up. The brakes aren't released. Yeah. Okay. It's not released enough because you don't have any air pressure, it won't help. If you had air pressure, it'd be easy. Could have rolled it out. Hey Mark, yep. by doing it this way, you're going to have to be careful that he doesn't roll into you because he's not going to have brakes. I got two of them here, so. All right, those two just released. Now if I can get my butt in between these tandems. Alright, we got the brakes released, caged. Do what? It's in there. Jump up her foot in reverse. Yeah. Bump it back just a hair. We may have to release the uh, kingpin again, but yeah, we can do fifth wheel. Do they, what? They clutch out. They clutch out. So yeah. Just, just bump it backwards get, just get a little bit. Yep. Uh, that wheel, did the line stay open? Yeah, did it. Handle is out. Yeah, well, I'll uh, yeah, let's come soon. Now we're going to get to the top. You're going to go dock block in front of it here in a minute. Here, grab either one of these. Rubber, metal, doesn't matter. Just go real nice and easy out from under it, Mark. Like we talked about a while ago.
trailer. You got it. Showing lifting 27,000. I was pretty close on the gas there, wasn't I? Yeah. Run. Roll it, won't roll it off, will it? Okay. The trailer's not gonna roll. Oh, about the truck. oh, the truck is free rolling. It should. Nope, I don't have enough butt to do it. Make sure you give yourself enough room to get your truck under it. I'm gonna hook up to the back okay. end of him. Oh, okay. Yep. Can you get your truck in from there? Uh, go a little more. Go a little more, Mark. Whenever you think you can get yours in, I'm good. Cause you'll be out of here. Okay, Mark. Good to go. What I want him to do is kind of like we did there just in reverse. I want right. him to get the fifth wheel under it and then I'll set the weight on him. That's all right, I can move it side to side a little bit. Not a problem. Stop, uh, just a little more, a little more, a little more. Okay, stop. Come back a little, just a little. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back forward. Whoa, little more, little more. Little more. All right, stop, whoa. I think we're gonna have to let our chains off or the chain's gonna get pinched right, in between the top. Well, we'll put peg legs down now or yeah. we, let's put let's peg, put legs, peg legs, down. legs down, Mark. Well, he, he's got it right now. Yeah. Well, I think we'll stay without putting him down right now. Well, let's do this just to be yeah. safe. All right. Put that down where, Robert. Just don't put him down where we can't get him up. Just enough to catch it. I don't think it's gonna be. I don't either. I can always lift, lift it yeah, back up once again. We have to. Yep. 
That's right. He'll still pick up when he backs up the rest of the way. No, no. That's the hole you're going to have to hit. You might have to pick up. Uh, yeah. Hang on, man. We'll pick up just a little bit. There you go. There you go. That's good, right? Everybody clear? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna let the weight down on your truck, but I'm gonna leave the chains hooked up. But what was gonna happen is they were gonna get pinched in between those little ears and the fifth wheel. All right, you should be able to go ahead and back under it now because I got the, chain, the weight off. Go ahead and come under it. I'm gonna keep the chains on it just so I can lift you back up and get those peg legs up. Yep, you're there. Is that enough to get the peg legs up? Okay. All right, y'all get those raised and I'll drop the uh, drop the pins out or drop the chains out all right coming down with the chat with the boom putting the weight on the truck Just pull forward a little bit, give him plenty of room to get out of here. Good. As always, thank you for watching, and God bless.